What's going on guys? It's your boy Cash and it is time to do a little fun kind of guide. Mostly me playing rank and making an excuse uh, out of it. But I really wanted to have some fun with more more fun with Pokemon Unite. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try out Talonflame. Uh, not try him out, I'm gonna kinda show you guys uh, what you could do with him. Uh, and then maybe Lucario, drop those videos and you guys tell me how that goes. So I'm gonna do it like kind of guide style, but after the guide part, we're just gonna be playing ranks. <laughs> and just me explaining how, how to use the character a little bit. Since I do have a little bit of MOBA experience, I think it could be beneficial to someone to hear someone like kind of explain what you wanna do and how to do in and out, blah, blah, blah. So practice progression. All right, so let me just show you guys the moves. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> what I like to do with Talonflame is obviously he's kind of an in and out kind of character. Uh, he just kind of has a bunch of dashes and he has really cool ways in my opinion to kind of like bounce around the field now the flame charge is not that bad but the build that i'm going to show you guys is going to be aerial ace and then brave bird i haven't even tried fly so if people are using fly you have fun with that but i wanted to i wanted to pretty much show you guys how i get down and then of course that's his ultimate which is pretty much a large like Beam projectile, but he's the projectile himself. As you say, has the user perform a aerial somersault before charging forward, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in its path. So and shoving them, which is really important. So you can shove them back into your team. You can shove them off of their, you know, which is back into your team, but shove them off of their stupid point, depending on where you're positioning it. It can be really good because he really pushes them back. It's a very good positional thing. Uh, also here Gale Wings when he has high HP has increased movement speed which kind of gives him the ability to be kind of like a jungler because he can kind of go in and out he can go in the middle and be top or be bot really quickly and then his basic attack which every monster has is monster monster hunters is still in my veins every Pokemon kind of has this uh, becomes a boosted attack with every third attack I think everyone is usually three some people have five and I heard Ghastly doesn't even have any uh, create a fiery whirlwind that deals damage to the opposing Pokemon in an area of effect. This boosted attack remains ready even if the user leaves combat for a prolonged period of time after the first two basic attacks. Now, what I've noticed about using Lucario, and I'm gonna just wanna just double check with him, is that you can actually like auto attack the air. One, two, uh, Nine Tails has this as well. You can auto attack the air. Do a dash move, like do one of your dash moves, and then do, and that move will come out. It's very good for prepping up damage, especially if you are trying to engage and you want to come in and do a bunch of boosted damage, right? So just a heads up. So like I said, we're going to be doing, and the reason why we're doing Aerial Ace is if you read it, it looks like it doesn't matter if you do Aerial Ace or Flame Charge, but with Brave Bird, as you can see, Fly doesn't have what I'm looking for, but Brave Bird has to use a dive to a designated location, which you can control while cloaked in a flame dealing damage to opposing areas in an area of effect. Also deals recoil damage to the user when it hits, ouch. Performing a boosted attack within a set amount of time after this move hits will reset the cooldown of flame charge and aerial ace. That is what you want, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you see, upgrade reduces the, the recoil damage when this move hits. So the reason why is that you want to do this, you want to pretty much start off, since it resets the cooldown of whatever move that you go here, you can be Flame Charge or Aerial Ace, so it doesn't really matter, but it does reset it. So you want to lead off with Aerial Ace or Flame Charge, that's pretty much what you want to do. Has the user, like I said, has the user, Aerial Ace, sorry, I should read it. Has the user fly at the designated opposing Pokemon dealing damage, it's an auto target, uh, also makes the user's basic, next basic attack a boosted attack, and as you see here, my next boosted attack <laughs> will uh, reset it. And, uh, and you can see that it does, uh, you can also use Fly. Fly does the, it also makes the user's next boosted attack. So it could be a nice little combo. It's just the combo, I like this better. And even if you do miss, it's slightly lower cooldown by 0.5 seconds. Yes, the 0.5 matters, it doesn't. Uh, the reason why I don't like Flame Charge is because it gives you, yeah, it just gives you more additional movement speed. You can see that uh, this one you can also, if once you upgrade it for a short time after the move hits, the user's moves and basic attacks ignore defense, which seems pretty cool if they're running a more tankier team, but I just found Aerial Ace to just be more overall better. So yeah. I don't have all the items. <laughs> I don't have all the answers, uh, but I do like X Attack because like I said, diving in and doing all that boosted damage would be really good, and I do like X Speed. Uh, Potion, I feel like, is better for Pokemon that are a little bit more tankier. Uh, if you want uh, to kind of like, kind of be in the midst of fighting and then kind of throw someone off, and I think that's why they put Potion as the main basic one that everyone gets. 
but I feel like you can definitely move and jab up. There's obviously more items, I just don't have them. So we shall go into some matches now. I think you guys got the gist of it. And let's do it. And someone took him as soon as I got in there. I've never recorded like this. I'm all over the place right now. Pretty much what happened is that I tried to get a match with Talonflame and I someone insta-picked him so I couldn't use him. So I then did a Lucario video backwards. <laughs> So you guys have something. I'm just doing it like for the guys. I just want to do one match. If I feel like if the match shows what I'm talking about, then that's a. I think that's a successful guide. And then of course I'm just gonna do regular gameplay, just me playing in ranked. These matches are also in ranked anyway. So at least we have some. We have some time to go with Talonflame. I'll get, show you guys the build, explaining everything as I play instead of just talking massive amounts of shit. <laughs> but if you haven't yet, hit that like, comment, subscribe button, man. Hit hit one of them. Some, see, if you already subscribe, you don't need to hit that button again. So you gotta go, go hit the comment button. You already commented. You have to hit the like button. If you, you know, it's for the algorithm. It's a brand new game, so it's really important. It really helps me out. Oh, and I forgot to explain the items uh, for Talonflame. I just said I was gonna do it too, and I didn't do it. All right. So it looks like we're gonna go top lane. Oh, I forgot to pick my move. We're gonna start off with the peck. I just, it's a slow cooldown. All right, so we got big boy in the front. Uh, like, this is what you kind of want to do. You don't need to... Okay, it was doing a little bit too much damage there. That was my fault. Come on. Okay, that was really stupid. All right, <laughs> all right, I'm making poor decisions. I thought that the other guy was behind me. I knew the Snorlax died, but I thought the other guy was uh, like kind of behind me. I might just uh, like jungle because uh, since my character has like three evolves, uh, well, technically two evolve stage, three stages, but I have to evolve twice. It really, it really does hurt me a lot um, dying. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a kill here. Here we go. Gather these up. I'm gonna use my over combats so we can get the score here. Ooh, boy! All right, Let me get some kills here. Right, see again, he's fighting for what? Yeah, for what? Like I just said, right? See, he's already a Cinder Ace. Like, I, I like... And that was a fault. See, I, I let them score 30. Again, poor play by the boy. I need levels. Okay, oh no, he's not gonna be able to hold that down by himself. Yeah. Not making the good plays here. Ow, fuck. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Okay. All right. What? Oh boy. Oh no, I I'm like, what is this move? It made me it auto did fly. Okay, so I can't even use this. I don't even know how to use fly. I was like, I thought I thought I got hit. I thought I got hit with the uh like a good jizz, I was like, yo, who put me, who put me in the air? See, I'm so not, I'm not used to it. Yeah, this move sucks. This move sucks! King down here does too. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, we learned. Today we learned. No, I, I gotta dunk this. Oh my god, I'm so... Oh, 
I hate this. This feels so yucky. Stop fighting at their base. Stop it. Come back with me. I want you to come home with me. And we're out. All right, gonna back to the base. That was the proper way to use the ultimate right there. Got him. Got him. Give me that, boy! I worked that man. I worked that man. He works for me. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, see what happens when you don't have the proper moves? Alright, so I can now do the items, right? So this one, attack and basic attack. I think it's the best <laughs> attack speed just because every monster to me has a something with it. I know the attack might be like, eh, what if I have a special attacker? But every monster has a third or fifth basic attack boosted something. And I just have leftovers. I don't have all the items, but I definitely think muscle man is really important. Already went through this. I think set path. So they want him to be the jungler. And I actually do agree with that. You don't want to really be under leveled fighting. You want to sit there and roll levels and then kind of surprise people. I showed a little bit of the fly, but I'm not a fan of fly. I'm just, <laughs> just being honest. I'm not. A, I'm 100% not a fan of the fly. And one because I kept tapping it, like it, if it was uh, the other move, and I, and I'm like, oh, why, why is he not teleporting? Because uh, the the level ups in this game are very like nonchalant. You kind of have to be paying attention to it. Half of the time, I don't even know I have my ult. Right, we're just gonna have some fun down here. I'm gonna try the jungle here, because I do think that he would make a really good jungler. So pretty much like wherever I see, whatever, whenever I see like a fight going on in a good position, like their Absol is here, I see him coming. Got the nice little kill there. That's how you jungle baby. might be a little bit too much because of the uh oh and he got the thing 3v1 all right just gonna do the cap here I'll go back to jungle that's how you're supposed to do it all right we're not fucking up again okay oh that was a save all right get our hp back they might overextend here. Oh, that electro web is so good. But see, this is exactly why. Look, we just got some good fights there, but it doesn't really matter. Give me that. Me and Pikachu doing the Lord's work. Doing the Lord's work. Okay, I need to get out. And give me my damn Brave Bird this time. I'm playing with you. You're very lucky, sir. You're very lucky. Now there are Healy buffs in the in the jungle as well. Look at that range. See if you can see the difference of like what I'm used to. I'm used to holding it and I'm just like double tapping and then choosing. Alright, just need to heal up a little bit and then we can go back and fight. Get my movement speed buff back. Ah uh, yeah. Oh yeah. What are you doing? I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that, buddy. Kind of sucks. It looks like they're gonna score. Got the kill there. Brave Bird's coming back up. Stop it! Stop it! Just stop it! Triple, dipple kills. We're gonna bank that in right now. Talonflame, baby. Now this is the build I'm used to. Pikachu, relax, relax. Oh, what are you doing? Push him back. Done. I'm gonna prioritize this. 
Yeah, I think that just made more sense. Get the X attack one. Nope, I'm not even there, buddy. I'm on the butt. Nope, sorry. Give me that. Give me that. Reset. Oh, this. I'm sorry. This isn't. This isn't what you. What you deserve. You deserve so much better. Oh, we didn't cap it. And the opponent T surrender. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just. Yeah. 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 That that that's what it's like. Yeah. Domination. See, I just like the the like you can kind of see where you're going instead of the other one. You at oh is that the crown? Oh, the the weird thing about that honestly is that the other move is like you press it. You're just supposed to press it and then you move. I'm so used to looking around, so that's kind of why uh, in the first match you see me just kind of sitting there and I don't know what's going on. But those are two good matches. I think that that was a, a really good way of showcasing the boy and how you can kind of utilize both forms. And I get it. it it's honestly. As much as I'm making these guides, I do think that it really comes down to what you're comfortable with. But you should also be comfortable with hitting that like, comment, subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, will help a brother out, especially with a new game. Uh, if you can, It helps the algorithm when they see someone really doing good and explaining things. I got Talonflame, Lucario comes after. So, what other Pokemon do you guys want me to try out? I'm trying to get them. I'm trying to play and keep getting these monsters. Played a couple matches already, just trying to get it the right way but I might have to end up spending the dough because this is a uh, pretty slow 1600 I need 8,000 to 10,000 to get another character so whoo anywho why foes in the comment section below let me know how you feel about talent flame and just remember that every day the cash in is your lucky day and I'll see you guys in the next video peace